believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. Alright, so welcome back. I was just coming here to uh, change some stuff to get ready for my next part, but it was a cinematic, so I was like, oh, quickly had a change. But now that's started, timer's on, that's set. Let's go ahead and get to our next mission. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. Alright. So we have two locations here. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar, and yet, we indeed found hope. If we are... So you definitely want to get them. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? 
I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once. All right, let's do it. Let's get this Colossus. The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. You know it's never easy. The shield emitters on Indion must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Let's do it. Fires. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Nice. No mercy. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Alright, we're almost there. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. It's probably going to be a massive wave. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. I'll definitely do that when I get the chance. Well, there's five locks we gotta go to. The Megalith 
Earth should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. Yeah, that would be wise. We await our time. Walk the shadowed path. The Megalith is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Let's go ahead and do that now. The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Our blades meet the enemy. Protecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Definitely need to get some stalkers in here. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. Let's get it. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. Get back over here. Your warriors have engaged the enemy.
stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. Get there. Well done, warriors. The megalith is disabling the third lock. Let's see, we need a forge here. This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. begin working on them immediately. Is under attack. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Toggle the rock formations near the entrance, and seal the Zerg within the caves. number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Link authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. You have not enough minerals. Need more pylons, okay. 
You must construct additional pylons. You have not enough minerals. Eternally resolute. So that'd be number four. For four soon. Yeah, we do. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Should be free to go. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Call our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cyprus. That's right, victory. Let's see, seal all caves within 40 seconds. Oh. Oh well. Can be assigned a new faction through the console in the war council. Alright, see you guys next video.